and we're back to learn a GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a halftone text effect. Well technically it's not really a halftone effect, but I don't know how to call this, so I've just titled this video like this. We're going to recreate what you've seen in a thumbnail and it's going to simulate somewhat of a halftone effect. Then we create some text, I press Ctrl A, resize it, and you could change the color right here. Let me align that. Thought it was a little bit too big. Let me use the text tool again. You can also press T for that. Press Ctrl A and I'll size it down. And again, I'll use the alignment tool, click on it and align it properly. So this is now where we start. Make sure that this text layer is active. Then go to filters, blur and pixelize. Check the preview. And now we can use this pixelize function to create our halftone text. You want to set the shape to diamond and then go down with the size ratio right here for X and Y, it's linked. You can already see the effect. If I make it bigger, it becomes more obvious. And this is what I mean, it's diamonds now. And if you make it round, you're not going to have this effect. So you're going to get round squares instead of circles. But if you make them a little bit smaller, Let me get back to the diamonds. You can see that it looks like a halftone effect. And it's quickly done. You can apply it to any text. If you go further down with the size ratio, most of these diamonds are going to vanish. So don't go too far down. Something like this should be fine. In this example, as I've said, it's linked for X and Y. And I've also linked the block with an height. Just confirm it via OK. And that's already it. This is how you can create this halftone-like text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.